This is Courtley House, a fine looking new residential building in Felixstowe. It stands on the site of the nurses home which belonged to the Bartlett Hospital which has been redeveloped to flats and houses. Courtley House is designed to look like an old rather than a contemporary development because part of it dates back over a century and it's a listed building and it's the end gable just across the road from me. Let's go back to 1914 and see what it looked like. It was a small part of a huge hotel, the Bath Hotel, which stood on the site from 1839 until 1914. It was Felixstowe's premier hotel, visited by the rich and famous, the landed gentry, politicians, businessmen, the movers and shakers of Victorian and Edwardian England. All that ended on the 28th of April 1914, when it was burned to the ground. The hotel was closed at the time and it fast became apparent that the fire was caused by arson, committed by two suffragette activists, Eveline Burkett and Florence Tunks. The hotel never reopened. The whole site was redeveloped as the Bartlett Hospital in 1921 and this tiny fragment of the building, least damaged, became part of the new nurse's home. Tunks and Burkett were jailed for their action, which was designed to hit at the establishment who were denying women the vote. It was the last direct action by British suffragettes. The First World War intervened and after the war things changed and these days we take for granted that all adults have equal rights to vote. In our world we often like to emphasise difference, be that gender, race, age or whatever. And we can use it to divide ourselves from other people or discriminate against them or something worse. But when God looks at people he sees that they're all the same. He recognises our common humanity. And the Bible has quite a lot to say about it. For example, there's this verse. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Everyone means everyone without exception. But the Bible also says something far more positive. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God loves each person, and he's opened a way through Jesus that they might find forgiveness and eternal life through following him. It's nice to see this building, which has had such a sad history, be brought back to life. In Jesus, God can change the story of each person who turns to him into one of purpose, hope and life. How about you?